In response to COVID-19, PSP is offering telefitness to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the telefitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Prior to participating in this session, and to make an informed decision on whether you should seek advice from a qualified exercise professional or healthcare provider, consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document by clicking on the links below. By continuing with this telefitness class, you understand that there is a possibility of physical injury and you agree that you do so voluntarily at your own risk. You also assume all risk of injury and agree to release the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services from any and all claims related to your participation in this telefitness class. Hi everyone, my name is Deidre and I'm a military fitness and sports instructor from Petawawa. Today I'm going to be leading you through a yoga class. It's going to be a flow-based class and we're going to be focusing on core strength, balance, and just overall full body. All you need is uh, open clear space that you can move around in as well as if you have a yoga mat um, I would recommend it for any of the kneeling postures um, just to keep uh, the knees directly off of the hard surface of the floor. Other than that take breaks when you need to um, and if there's anything that you need to modify please do. I will give some modifications throughout the class but if there's something that's just not working for your body please take it at your own pace and uh, just modify for what's going to work best for you. If you have a playlist that you'd like to use, you can start by getting that ready now. And then we're going to start down on our backs. So coming down onto your back, you're going to let your toes roll open to either edge of the mat. Letting your arms come out into a T position with your palms facing up. Or the arms can be down to either side of the body with the palms facing up. Keeping the breath moving in and out of the nose. Trying to create consistent flow and controlled flow. option to close down the eyes. And just settling into this posture, letting your shoulder blades sink down into the mat, letting the hips open up by having the toes rolling open to either edge of the mat. Breathing. On your inhale breath, focusing on expanding through the rib cage, letting the belly rise. And on your exhale, taking that nice deep breath out and letting the rib cage collapse and letting all the air out of the stomach. Pausing here in this moment for two more slow and controlled breaths. From here, you're going to bend the knees and plant the feet on the mat, engaging through the core, pressing your low back into the floor. And then taking both knees to hug into the chest. You can take your arms to wrap around the front of the knees or the shins. And then option to stay still or just bring a slight rocking movement side to side. Keeping that engagement through the core. 
and keeping the control through each time you rock side to side. Coming back through center, pausing for a moment. You're gonna keep your right knee tucked in and you're gonna extend your left leg straight up to the ceiling. Flexing both toes back towards your shins, you're gonna take your left leg and slow and control, you're gonna lower the leg down to the mat, letting the heel rest on the floor. Keeping the right knee tucked in nice and tight to your chest. here you're going to take your left leg, bend the knee and plant the foot down to the mat and then taking your right leg you're going to extend the leg all the way up to the ceiling. Keeping your hands to the back of the leg, keeping the toes flexed back towards the forehead, creating an opening through the hamstring. Option to stay here or slowly start to move the hands up the leg. You want to keep your shoulder blades grounded to the floor. So if you're lifting through the shoulder blades and the head, try just to lower the hands a little bit so that you can keep the neck and shoulders relaxed. From here, you're going to guide your right ankle to come on top of the left knee and then creating tension through the right knee and right hand, you're going to press the hand into the knee and the knee into the hand, creating some resistance, keeping your top foot flexed back towards your shin and then you're going to elevate that left foot coming through a variation of figure four. Starting with a nice light opening through the hips. And then option to stay here or interlacing your hands behind your left leg. Keeping the breath slow and controlled. You're going to lower your left leg to the floor if you've grabbed, uh, if you find it, the hands behind the leg, letting go. Taking your arms out into a T with the palms facing up, you're going to fully cross your legs. Hips are going to move over to the right side of the mat and your knees are going to drop down to the left. Starting with the gaze up at the ceiling, letting your body settle into the twist. And then option to take your gaze over your right shoulder, settling. And if this is okay for you, option to take your left hand onto your right knee just to create a slight amount of resistance to bring that leg closer to the floor. Slowly releasing the leg, gaze comes back through center, knees are uncrossing and hips are coming back through center. Tuck both knees back into the chest, option to stay still or rock side to side. Coming back through center. And this time we're going to keep the left knee tucked in and extend the right leg all the way up to the ceiling, 
flexing both toes back towards your shin. Slow and control, lowering down that right leg, letting the heel rest on the floor, and keeping that left knee tucked in nice and tight. Starting to bend through that right knee, planting your foot on the floor, and then extending through the left leg. Hands are coming behind the hamstring to create that opening. Option to stay here with the hands in the lower part of the leg, or you can start to slowly walk the hands up the leg, but just ensuring that you're Shoulders and neck aren't lifting up off of the floor. You want to keep all the tension out of the neck and shoulders. From here, releasing the hands and then coming into that figure four shape, left ankle to right knee, and then creating that resistance through the knee and the hand again. Slightly pressing the hand into the knee and pressing the knee back into the hand, keeping the toes of the left leg flexed, creating an opening through the hips. And then option to stay here or elevating through that right leg and then option to Stay in this positioning here, creating that resistance. Or taking it one step further by interlacing the hands in behind the right hamstring. Slowly releasing the hand, right foot plants to the mat. Fully cross your left leg over your right leg. Your hips are going to move over to the left this time. Arms are coming out into a T with your palms facing up. And knees are coming down to the right. Gaze is going to start up at the ceiling. Arms stay out long. And if this feels okay, you're going to bring your gaze over towards your left shoulder. If this posture is feeling okay for you, option to take that right hand to the left knee, creating a little bit of resistance to try to Bring this left knee closer to the floor. Slowly releasing the leg, gaze comes back through center, knees are uncrossing, and the hips come back through center. From here, hugging both knees into your chest, just staying in stillness for a moment or two. And then coming through happy baby. So bringing your forearms to the inner side of your knees, you're going to grab onto the outer ankle or outer portion of your foot and then send the bottoms of your feet up towards the ceiling, keeping your toes flexed back towards your shins, almost as if you were standing on the floor with your, your feet positioning. 
Trying to firmly press your low back into the floor, engaging through that core. And then slowly letting go of the feet, bringing the legs together. You're going to take the hands in and behind the legs and slowly rock the length of the spine until you can come up into a seated position at the top of your mat. Crossing the legs, you're going to plant your hands and then come in through a tabletop position. Wrists are stacked underneath the shoulders. Hips and knees are bent at 90 degrees. From here, we're going to start with a few cat-cow. So you're going to start by dropping the belly down and extending the gaze up towards the ceiling. Firmly pressing through the palms. And then slowly starting to round through the back, one vertebra at a time, and then tucking the chin into the chest. Dropping the belly, extending the gaze. Rounding the back. Bringing the chin to chest. Drop the belly, extending the gaze. Rounding through the back, bringing the chin to tuck to the chest. Last round, drop the belly, extend the gaze. Rounding through the back, bringing the chin to tuck to the chest. Coming through a neutral spine position, you're going to pivot onto your left toes and create a kickstand with the left side. So your back toes are pivoting off the mat and then your right foot is coming to the back of the mat. We're going to open up into a variation of side plank. Reaching the arm straight up, you want both shoulders to be in line. So try not to reach back. Think of reaching up and lengthening through the upper body. From here, top arm is going to sweep up and overhead, creating a nice opening through the right side of the body. Think of pressing your hips forward here. Top arm is going to place underneath the shoulder. Hips are going to square off, bringing both knees underneath the hips and then pivoting onto the right toes, left leg comes out long, sweeping the left arm up and overhead. Creating that long line through the upper body, thinking of pressing the hips forward and try not to reach back with that top arm. Stacking the shoulders on top of one another. And then reaching that top arm up and overhead, creating a nice opening through the left side of the body. Again, hips are pressing forward. And then top arm is coming down to sweep underneath the shoulders. Knees are coming back underneath the hips. Tucking the toes under, you're going to send the hips up and back, coming into your first downward facing dog. Firmly pressing into 
your hands, fingertips are wide, widening through the upper back, hips are wide, pressing your chest back towards your thighs. From here, you're gonna lift your right leg up and back, checking on your toes to make sure that your knees your knee and toe are both aligned with the mat. From here, you're gonna bend your knee and then roll forward into a high plank and then stepping your right foot between your front hands. From here, you're gonna drop your back knee down to the floor and then coming up through a low lunge, arms are gonna rise up and overhead. Gaze is forward. Breath is smooth. Hands are gonna float down to frame your front foot and hips are gonna shift back over your back knee, creating a half split. From here, gazing over your front toe you're gonna come forward, picking up your back knee, and then opening up into a side twist towards your right knee. Placing your top hand down, you're gonna step back to your plank, and then shift the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Left foot rises, checking back on the toes and the knee to see if your hips are square, bending through the knee, and then rolling forward to that high plank. Step your foot through at the top of the mat, back knee drops, hips are squaring forward, rising up, coming through a low lunge. Gaze is forward, core is strong, legs are scissoring together, Hands slowly come down to frame the front foot and you're gonna shift your hips over your back knee. Try to keep your hips as square as you can to the front of your mat. Slowly coming forward, hands are gonna frame that front foot, back knee is gonna pick up and then this time you're gonna open up towards the left. Top hand plants, stepping back to your plank, shift the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Right leg rises, check on the toes, bend the knee, rolling forward, planting the foot in between the hands. Back knee comes down to the mat, Rising up into our low lunge, holding for one breath. Hands are gonna plant to frame your front foot. Shift the hips back over your back knee, half split. Rolling forward, picking up the back knee, coming into your twist. And then this time, keeping your top hand elevated, you're gonna pivot onto the outer edge of both feet and then option to bring your right leg halfway back, all the way back and having the feet beside each other or stacking the feet. Keeping the hips high. From here, you're gonna plant your top hand and pivot your toes to face forward, shift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Left foot rises. Check if you're squaring through the hips, bend the knee, rolling forward, plant the foot between the hands, dropping the back knee, slowly rising up. 
hands plant to frame the front foot, hip shift over that back knee. Gaze is coming forward, rolling forward, pick up the back knee, opening up for a twist. And then pivoting on to the outer edge of both feet, option to drag that left foot halfway or all the way back. Shoulders and hips square to the mat. Shift the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Gaze comes between the thumbs, bend the knees, and then walk your feet to the top of your mat. Coming through a halfway lift, and then exhaling to fold, planting the hands on the floor. I want you to bend your knees as much as you need to, to keep your feet and hands squaring to the floor, palms firmly pressing down, and then rising all the way up to stand. Hands are going to float down beside the body. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands plant. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you step your right foot back, followed by your left foot. Holding in your high plank, heels are pressing towards the back of the mat. Gazes between your thumbs. Slowly starting to lower down to a hover. And then pulling the chest forward, coming through upward facing dog. Tucking the chin into the chest and rolling back, downward facing dog. Holding in your dog, widening through the upper back. Gaze is going to come forward between the thumbs. Knees are going to bend. You're going to step your right foot forward, followed by your left foot. For a halfway lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands float down. Three more, just like that. Inhale, reaching the arms up and overhead. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time as you exhale, you're stepping your left foot back, followed by your right foot, holding in your plank for a moment. And then slowly starting to lower down to that hover. And then pulling the chest forward, coming through upward facing dog. Tucking the chin, downward facing dog. Gaze comes forward, slight bend through the knees. Left foot comes forward, followed by the right, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands float down. Two more. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to step back, right foot, left foot, and then lowering right away down to your hover. Inhale to pull the chest forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze comes forward between the thumbs, bending through the knees. Right foot comes forward, followed by left foot. 
Exhale to fold. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands float down. Last time. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to step the left foot, followed by right foot, and right away, lower into that hover. Inhale to pull the chest forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze comes through the thumbs at the top of the mat, slight bend in the knees, left foot comes forward, right foot comes forward. Exhale to fold. Inhaling, coming all the way up. And exhale, hands float down. <clears throat> Moving through Sun Salutation B, you're going to bend the knees and sink the hips. Arms are going to sweep down and in front of the body. And then arms are going to reach up and overhead. Engaging through the core. Rolling your inner thighs out. Ensuring that your knees aren't rolling in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping the right foot followed by the left foot and coming, coming through your hover. Inhale to pull the chest forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot lifts. Bend the knee and coming through to a high plank. Step the foot through at the front of the mat. And then rising up through crescent lunge. Creating a strong lunge into that front right leg. And then option to take a slight bend into your back knee if needed. Exhale, hands float down. Step your right foot back, lowering down Pull the chest forward, coming through downward facing dog. R left leg lifts, bend the knee, rolling forward, high plank. Step the foot through the hands at the top of the mat. Inhale to rise up and then sinking into your lunge. Again, option to bring a slight bend into that back knee. Exhale to fold, stepping your foot back, moving through your flow, rooted in downward facing dog. Gaze comes forward between the thumbs, bending the knees. You're going to step your right foot forward, followed by your left foot. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. And then inhaling, coming back through that chair, sweeping the arms up and overhead, sinking deep into that chair. And then exhaling, straighten the legs, arms float down. One more time, just like that. Inhale to bend the knees, sink the hips, arms are floating up and overhead. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping the left foot back, followed by the right. <clears throat> Lowering through your hover, pulling the chest forward, reading in downward facing dog. Right foot lifts, bend the knee, 
Rolling forward, step the hand through at the top of the mat, and then rising up into your crescent lunge. Hands plant down at the front of the mat. Step your front foot back, moving through your flow, pulling the chest forward. Downward facing dog. Left leg rises. Bend the knee, rolling forward. Step the foot through the hands. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, hands float down. Step your foot back, moving through your flow. Meeting in downward facing dog. Gaze comes forward through the thumbs. Bending through the knees, stepping your left foot forward, followed by your right. Inhale for your half lift. Exhale, folding. Inhale, bend the knees, take the hips coming up through that chair. Exhale, standing up, hands float down. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Arms are going to rise up and overhead. And then you're going to fold. From here, keeping your hands planted down on the mat, option to stay here in your forward fold or bring your big toes to touch. You're going to lift your heels off of the floor and then coming through a crow practice. So from here, you're going to maybe lift one foot off the mat, maybe lift two, maybe you don't lift any and you just practice lifting one toe or one foot off the floor at a time. But you really want to keep your gaze forward and think of resting your elbows on your tricep. So if you decided to stay in your forward fold, you're going to step back into a high plank. And if you're up in your crow, option to step back to a plank or float back, landing in the bottom of your hover and then pulling the chest forward. Everyone's going to move through their flow and move through downward facing dog. Right foot's going to lift. You're going to bend the knee and roll forward. Stepping the foot through the hands, rising up, crescent lunge. From here, you're going to pivot your back foot 90 degrees and arms are going to reach out long to either side of your body. Palms are facing down. Gaze is over your front fingertips and you're lunging firmly into that front leg. Top hand is going to flip the palm up. Back arm is going to come down into your low back, inhaling to reach up and overhead. Coming through Peaceful Warrior. Coming back through Warrior 2, folding here. And then cartwheeling your hands down to the mat, pivoting your back toes forward. You're going to drop your back knee, rolling back into that half split. Rolling forward, pick up the back knee and opening up to that twist. Closing up and then stepping back to your plank, moving through your flow, meeting in downward facing dog. Left foot rises, bend the knee, rolling forward, step the foot through the hands, rising up, crescent lunge. Opening up, warrior two, back foot pivots 90, arms are reaching long, gaze is over your front fingertips. Front palm flips, back hand, coming into the low back, reaching up and overhead for Peaceful Warrior. Coming 
coming forward through warrior two. From here, hands cartwheel to bring the front foot, back foot pivots, back knee drops down, and then shifts hip, sorry, your hip shift over your back knee, coming to that half split. Rolling back forward, picking up your back knee, and moving through that twist. Closing up, step your front foot back, moving through your flow, meeting in downward facing dog. Right foot lifts, Bend through the knee, roll forward, and plant the, hand, the foot between the hands. Inhale, rising up to crescent lunge. Exhale, opening up warrior two. Flipping the front palm, opening up, peaceful warrior. Coming back through warrior two, this time you're gonna shift your weight forward and reach your front fingertips beyond your front foot. Dragging your back toes along the mat, you're going to rise up through half moon. Starting to bend through that front knee, back foot is finding the back of the mat, and then rolling back through Peaceful Warrior, coming through Warrior Two. Hands cartwheel, back foot pivots, back knee drops down, coming through half split. Rolling forward, picking up the back knee, opening up, twist. Top hand plants, stepping back, moving through your flow, meeting in downward facing dog. Left foot lifts, bend the knee, rolling forward, step the foot through at the top of the mat, rising up, crescent lunge, opening up warrior two, front palm flips, coming through peaceful warrior, reaching up and overhead. Coming back through warrior two, Powering up to that front leg, reaching down beyond that front foot, and then dragging the back toes until you can come and lift off into your half moon. Slowly start to bend through your front knee, back toes slowly find the back of the mat, coming back through Peaceful Warrior, Moving through warrior two, hands cartwheel, pivot the back toes, plant the back knee, rolling back through that half split. And then coming forward, framing the front foot with your hands, pick up the back knee, opening up for a twist. Hand plants, stepping back, moving through your flow, Meeting in downward facing dog. Knees are going to drop down to the mat. <clears throat> You're going to cross your ankles and then sit back on your butt. Scooching forward a little bit on your mat just to give yourself some space at the back. From here, you're gonna extend your legs straight out in front of you. From here, you're gonna take your right leg, bend your knee, and plant your foot to the floor, giving yourself an inch or two in between your foot and your left leg. Left toes are pointing back towards your shin. And then from here, we're gonna open up into a twist. You're gonna take your left arm to wrap around the outside of your right knee and then your right hand is going to come in and behind your body. 
Gaze is coming over your right shoulder. Option to stay here or taking the left arm to the outside of your knee and then opening up into a twist. Slowly releasing. You're going to take your left hand in behind your body and your right arm to the inside of your knee and then opening up for a counter twist. And then coming back through center, you're going to extend your right leg straight out, bending through the left leg, planting your foot, leaving yourself an inch or two in between your left foot and right leg. And then you're coming in through that twist. So option to wrap your right arm around that outer knee and then left hand is in and behind the body gazes over your shoulder and if this feels like it's enough for you stay here or option to take that right arm to the front side of the knee and twist a little bit deeper Slowly starting to release, right hand is coming in behind the body and then left elbow is pressing into the inside of the knee, slowly twisting. Coming back through center. Both legs are going to stretch out long in front of you, inhaling to sit up nice and tall and reaching the arms up and overhead. Exhale, you're going to fold down. Option to grab onto the shins, the ankles, the sides of the feet, the toes, whatever is acceptable for you. Inhaling, you're going to bring your gaze forward. And then exhaling, try to fold a little bit deeper. releasing, rolling back up through the seated position. From here, you're going to come onto your knees, keeping the knees about hip distance apart and keeping the toes tucked under, you're going to come into a standing kneeling position. From here, you're going to bring your hands together at the heart and then you're going to inhale to bring the chest nice and tall. Exhale to bring the shoulders down. Moving through that sequence a couple times, and then maybe you start to slowly lean back. Option just to stay upright too, keeping the chest nice and tall with the shoulders rolling down. Only if you feel comfortable leaning back. But still think of keeping that chest tall as you lean. Coming forward, you're going to untuck the toes, hands come down to the mat, and then you're going to crawl your fingertips out into a child's pose. Slowly rolling your way back up through, seated. Coming back up into your standing kneeling position, toes are tucking under. And then option to do the same variation as last time. Or you can reach your hands back for your heels 
and come in through another variation of a, a little bit deeper of a back bend. I just don't want you to be turning one side to the other side to grab onto your heel. You should be able to come straight back and then letting the head drop. So choosing either variation, hands at the chest, coming through your bend, or hands reaching back for the heels. Holding here. Keeping a consistent breath, moving in and out of the nose. Holding for one more breath. And then slowly rising back up. Untuck the toes, sitting back on the heels. Crawl the hands out, child's pose. Slowly rolling back up, you're going to cross the ankles and then sit back on your butt. Scooting forward and lowering down onto your back. Taking your right leg over the left leg, arms are coming up into that T position. Hips are moving over to the right, knees are dropping down to the left. And then gaze is coming over the right shoulder. Option to stay here. We're taking your left hand onto your right knee. Notice if you feel like you can go a little bit deeper into this stretch from the beginning of the class till now. Gaze comes back through center, releasing the legs, uncrossing, hips come back through center, taking your left leg over your right leg, hips are moving to the left this time, knees are dropping down to the right, gaze is coming over that left shoulder, and then option to take your hand onto that left knee, creating that extra resistance. Releasing that leg, gaze comes back through center, uncrossing the knees, knees come back through center. And then coming through that happy baby one more time, grabbing onto the outer edges of your feet or your ankles, pressing your low back into the floor, keeping your chin slightly tucked to your chest. Option to start closing down the eyes. And then slowly releasing the left leg down to the mat, followed by the right leg. Arms are coming out into that wide T position with the hands facing up. Or having the arms down beside the body with the palms facing up. Taking a few moments to settle into the mat. And let any sensations that are flowing through the body right now to disappear.
taking two more long and controlled breaths in and out of the nose. back through your regular breath cycle starting to wiggle through the fingers and the toes maybe rolling through the wrists and the ankles and then bringing your legs together toes are going to point towards the front of the mat arms are going to sweep up and overhead and you're going to interlace your hands together from here, you're gonna inhale and stretch as long as you can, holding the inhale at the top. Exhale, let it all go soft into the mat. Slowly starting to come up into a seated position at the top of your mat. I thank you all for practicing with me today. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you guys.